It's been a very insightful and informative um, discussion. Day two of the 10th Caribbean Beekeeping Congress began with concern over the future of beekeeping in the Caribbean and its impact on food security. And so there's this intimate link. When we start talking about bee health and, and, and worry about colony um, collapse, etc., it's because of this link between beekeeping and agriculture and those pollination services. So if you have problems with your honeybees, it means that you're going to see a decline in agricultural production. Scientist Valma Jessamy of Grenada encouraged the integration of beekeeping into agriculture and urged farmers to cultivate plants that bees can feed on. Dr. Jessamy was also concerned about a decline in beekeeping and honey production at a time when demand was growing globally. Over the past five or more years, there's been a steady decline in the output of honey, even though there's been a steady increase in demand. And so that's an opportunity for, for countries who are exporting natural honey. Dr. Jessamy also called for more research into apiculture, a sentiment echoed by Giles Romulus, the national coordinator of the Global Environment Fund in St. Lucia. Without research, we are lost. Definitely. Almost because we can't make the kind of sound decisions for the progress of our economies. The second presentation for the morning went deeper into pollination. It was felt that the contribution of pollination to agriculture was seriously undervalued to the detriment of agriculture and food production. So we don't really tend to consider pollination as an agricultural input. And um, as a consequence, people are not, are not taking care of it and not managing it properly. It was revealed that not all pollinators are bees, flies, wasps, Bats, birds, bugs, beetles, and lizards are also pollinators and so have a role to play in any successful agricultural enterprise. There's very little knowledge about pest species on a whole, uh, which means that people just tend to spray broad spectrum pesticides, which kills everything. The thing is, we do not know what we have, so we don't even know what we're losing, and that is the biggest issue. There is worry that many valuable species are being lost due to the widespread use of pesticides and herbicides, housing and other developments, and deforestation.